Hello guys, I welcome you to the current affairs session for 6 November 2019. So very good morning to all of you. And one question will be asked at the end of this session. So you need to answer through comment. And guys, if you have not already subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and also share it to friends. Okay, so let's start. Current affair number one, Rafael Nadal has once again become the world's number one tennis player in the ATP rankings 2019. He replaced Novak Djokovic, who has slipped to number two. So Rafael Nadal become one of the world's number one tennis player in the ATP rankings 2019. Okay. The next, Bihar government uh, under the Chief Minister Mrs. Kumar bans vehicles older than 15 years in Patna. The United States formally informed the United Nations about its intention to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement on November 4, 2019, and this announcement of the U.S. exit from the deal was made by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Okay. Next, India decided to not join the regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP. It's very important. Okay, do remember it. India decided not to join the RCEP after it failed to address the India's key concerns. Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlighted that signing the RCEP agreement would have a negative impact on the lives and livelihood of all Indians, especially the weaker sections of the society. Next. The biggest U.S. Bangladesh Navy exercise dubbed as Cooperation Afloat Readiness and Training, that is CARET 2019, is being held in Chattogram or Sitagong City in Bangladesh. Okay, so CARET 2019, the biggest U.S. Bangladesh Navy exercise is held at Sitagong City, Bangladesh. Next. An Indian parliamentary delegation led by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla is taking part in the 6th Parliamentary Speaker Summit of the G20 countries being held in Tokyo, Japan from 3 to 5 November 2019. Next, preserving forests and biodiversity. Assam and France signed Rs 500 crore pact. The gesture came during the latest visit of Ambassador of France to India, Emmanuel Linain, to Kajironga to meet the on-site members of the France Development Agency, that is AFD, as well as the officials of the Assam Environment and Forest Department involved in the implementation of the Assam Project for Forest and Biodiversity Conservation. To remember the name of the project, that is Assam Project for Forest and Biodiversity Conservation, that is AFMDC. So, a rupees 500 crore pack being signed between Assam and France. Next, the Directorate of Museums, Assam, in collaboration with the National Research Laboratory for Conservation of Cultural Property, NRLC Lucknow has organized a workshop on care of museum objects at Kanaklal Borua Auditorium in Assam State Museum. Okay. So NRLC, that is National Research Laboratory for Conservation of Cultural Property, this is located in Lucknow. Okay, sometimes uh, they may ask you about the location of this type of national importance laboratory. So you need to carefully remember these terms. So guys, these are the most selected current affairs for today. Now coming to the today's question from last class and today's question. India's first ever art exposition for talents with intellectual challenges called e Kappa 2019, Art from the Heart, was inaugurated in option A, Pune, option D, Guwahati, option C, New Delhi, option D, none of the above. So you need to comment the answer. So guys, meet you tomorrow in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.